This is Truest Crime, the only true crime podcast hosted by murder professionals. I'm Madeline Coughlin, one half of the infamous Fork River Killers, and I'm the other half, Alfredo Ramirez. You know, Alfredo, I've been thinking about our longtime nemesis and the primary recipient of our delightful torments, Special Agent Antonio Rodriguez. Oh, really? Did he call you back after you left that voicemail you threatened to flay his skull and piss on his conscience? No, he still hasn't, and and that's kind of the point. By now, I, I would have gotten some kind of screaming promise to wipe out my bloodline, even if it's the last thing he does, but I haven't. I fear we've been antagonizing him and flaunting his failures in his face for so long that he's just numb to it all by now. Hold on, you're not regretting our decade plus of torment, are you? No, 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 of course not. Making him cry is one of the few things that makes me smile. I guess after constantly trying to break his mind with our delightful antics, like when we set up an elaborate tableau of bodies precisely arranged to resemble a picture of him blowing out candles at his ninth birthday party, I want to balance it all out by doing something nice for him. Oh, okay, I think I get it. So this week, instead of sending him on a macabre scavenger hunt that leads him to an abandoned factory where he finds his partner's severed head, you want to do nice things for him. Yes, exactly. But also, we did that one before, remember? Oh, yeah. I thought that sounded familiar. Boy, being his partner is a death sentence. To be fair, I think we have a lot to do with that, but that's beside the point. I figured, how about this week we do and say something nice for him to balance it all out? Oh, I like that. Okay, I think we could do that. Okay, great. Let's give ourselves a week to plot and scheme some kind of kindness for him, and we'll meet back here. Cool? Cool. All right, it's been a week. Time to reveal what nice, kind things we have in store for Special Agent Rodriguez. Do you want to start it off? Sure thing. I'll begin with a nice thing I have to say. One thing I really admire and find genuinely inspirational about Antonio is his persistence. If I had to chase down a pair of serial killers for over a decade with nothing to show for it other than an ever-growing, insurmountable mountain of bodies that I failed to protect, I would have given up a long time ago. I would put the gun in my mouth and blow my brains out. But kudos to Antonio for just barely hanging on. That's so sweet. Thank you for sharing that. The nice thing I'm going to say is that I really like the large corkboard filled with newspaper clippings and string he keeps behind a false wall in his basement. When we saw firsthand all of the strings connecting newspaper clippings to surveillance photos of people he suspects to be us, even though none of them are, but just seeing that someone put in that much work to figure out our identities was life-affirming. We're living the dream. It made me think of all the little sociopathic kids out there skinning neighborhood cats who, without a body count yet, can only imagine that they have a hotshot detective hunting them down to the ends of the earth. Do you know how many of them would kill, and I mean literally kill several people, to have a cop on their trail that has to hide his conspiracy corkboard from his wife, who already thinks he's losing it, and that's why she's met with several divorce lawyers? It's, it's an honor. So is letting him know that his wife is looking to get a divorce the nice thing you did for him? Because I'm sure he'll really appreciate that when he listens to this episode the second it publishes at 3 a.m. Nope, that's just a sweet little stocking stuffer. I'll get to mine in a second, but first, I want to find out the nice thing that you did for Antonio this week. Oh, okay. Well, I sent him a card. Oh, that's nice. Like a Hallmark card? Kind of. It's made of dried human skin. The poem inside is super cute. Ah, so more of a calling card than a greeting card. Yeah, and I think one of the several microphones we have planted in his home picked up his reaction when he saw it. Let's listen in. No! 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 Wow, he really seemed to like that. Oh, I know. It fills me with the warm and fuzzies. It's so nice. It's so nice to hear that kind of reaction, you know? It is. So, Mads, what did you do for him other than let him know that his marriage is a shambling zombie begging for a bullet to the head? Well, I was thinking about how we're constantly making his life a little bit more difficult, so I killed his mistress. Oh, I wish I'd thought of that. That's such a good idea. Now his life was a little less complicated. I have a few questions, though. One, did his wife know about her? Two, do we know if she listens to the pod? And three, don't answer those questions because the real question is, did he like it? Well, why don't you listen to the audio and you tell me? No, no, no! Ah, oh, yes! To see someone so appreciative of your place in their life, that's why we do this. You know, Mads, to be honest, when you suggested this little exercise last week, I was skeptical, but I could not have been more wrong. This was a fantastic idea. Thank you, Al. I really appreciate that. Just like I'm sure Antonio really appreciates everything we said and did for him this week. I'm sure he will. But you have to promise me next week we're going back to ruining his fucking life, right? Oh, absolutely. Good. (laughs) (laughs) 
Anywho, that's it for us this week. We want to thank all of you Truest Believers for tuning in to Truest Crime. Don't forget to follow the Inaudible Podcast Network on Twitter at InaudibleCast, and consider subscribing to the network's Patreon so we can get a new set of hacksaws. We really tear through those things. You can find the page at patreon.com slash inaudiblepod. Wait, wait, wait. Before we go, I I wanted to test out a new sign-off catchphrase. You ready? Oh, so exciting. Let's hear it. Okay, here it goes. Thank you for listening to Truest Crime. You'll be hearing from us again soon. Now, now laugh. What? Laugh. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> no, no, no evil. Like we just did. Like this. <laughs> 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 good, good. That felt good. That one's a keeper. It is. I love it. See you all next week. 